गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन Okay very good evening everyone how are you my voice perfectly all right okay fine uh, so we have done certain st uh, stuff yesterday like regard see we have started up with a new chapter yesterday right so uh, let's have a quick review uh, what you have to do you have to write short notes on like you have to cover a short paragraph you have to cover everything whatever we have learned yesterday in a short paragraph fine is it clear just write it down in short whatever we have covered yesterday and then we are going to switch over to the next part is it clear okay so just start it please मोहम्मद अली मदाथल सामो नईन फदी प्रभावती दिव्या मनोज श्रीराज रामचंद्रन यू हैव टू राइट शॉर्ट नोट्स ऑन वट एवर वी हैव कवर्ड टुडे वट एवर वी हैव कवर्ड इन क्लास यस्टरडे यू हैव टू राइट शॉर्ट नोट्स फॉर द सेम एंड देन वी गोइंग टू स्विच ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज इट ओके Are you people writing it or not? I hope there is no issue with my voice. What is the spelling of yesterday?
ओके फाइन वन चोर वन जिस टाइप डाउन इन चैट बॉक्स ओके ये गुड इवनिंग दिव्या मनोज यू वर नॉट देयर यस्टरडे आई गेस Okay. Let's start now. Okay. So let's uh, let's start from where we have. Okay. Finish. Okay. Left. Yes. Okay. So this we have already covered. Okay. These stuff, right? Now, don't you think this is a better CV than Salil Swishraj? Why do you think so? Which we have already covered. Now. CV of experienced application. Suppose you are experienced and you want to switch over to uh, to a new job. Okay, you want to switch to a new job. What are so how are you going to form your CV in that case? Let's learn about it. The format for curriculum vitae given uh, given above is suitable for first time job applicant. So this one is uh, you know suitable for someone who is applying for the job for the first time or have very little experience. But if you have ample of experience. Like uh, okay, in different domains or in, even in a particular domain, okay, it is advisable to form your format your CV differently, making sure that you emphasize on your work history, career skills, and career achievement. Okay, so the CV for the pressure would be different. The format of the CV for the pressure would be different, and the format of an experienced candidate, the format of CV of an experienced candidate would be different. In a, in case of an experienced candidate, you have to emphasize more on your work history. For most of all, you have to emphasize on your work history. That is the most important thing you need to do. Okay, career skills and career achievement. Fine. And here they have given a sample CV of someone who is experienced. Okay. Mr. Arun Nagpal, two forty three sector two, Gulmohar, Indore MP, Indore MP, India. And these are the phone numbers. Fine. Now qualification is listed here, like MBA, MA, and BA. Subjects are mentioned here. Years are also mentioned here, including university. Fine. Now this is his career profile. This is the most important part of the CV if you are experienced. Fine. Fine. Divya, Sri Raj, Prabha, Fadi, Naim, Muhammad, Samu. Okay. So 1999 till date. Uh, you know, senior manager, marketing, Gateway Motors, New Delhi. Before that, that is from 1994 to 1999, manager sales, Swiss Motors, Chennai. And from 1990 to 1994, executive sales and marketing, Balwant Electronics, New Delhi. Now he has listed his career skills after experience. Okay. So what he has written, let's learn about it. So these are his career skills. Okay, as you can see it here, mark advertising, market positioning, media handling, staff supervision, budget, new product, introduction, oral and written presentation, pricing strategy, facility management. So these are the skills of that specific candidate. Okay, 
now these are the career achievements okay so this is how you need to you know this is the format you need to follow if you are experienced okay career achievements as senior manager marketing for gateway motors initiated and executed aggressive new product introduction for national market co directed product development packing market positioning advertising and testing of two new vehicles launched by the company was a member of the core team which redesigned and launched a highly successful advertising campaign with a new face for the company old product okay now assume the central role in, so these are the career achievements of this specific guy okay list it here profitability after a lean period of 8 years formulate strategies to resist and overcome stiff competition from rival brands on two promotions in the high flyer category in the last 7 years now now write uh, write out your own cv by substituting the information given under different heads with the information about yourself like you or most of you are like experienced right so you have to follow the same format which is listed here okay uh, heading should be same but the you know the subject matter should be personal okay uh, Uh, person specific right so first of all you are going to write about what last would be career achievement right before that it would be skills and before that your experience right just write it down please and before that like education career profile then the career skills and the last one would be what career achievement if you have only just completed your studies use the first sample and substitute see if you are a fresher use the first cv which we have learned yesterday use the format in the cv which we have learned yesterday if you are an experienced candidate you have to use the format in this uh, resume okay in case you have more than 5 years of experience we would advise you to use the second format fine is it clear naeem fadi prabhavati shriraj divya manoj samu and mohammad please let me know in the chat box yeah so just write it down is everyone okay naeem see if you are an experienced candidate you have to follow the format of the cv which we have learned yesterday for the fresher okay and you have to see heading should be same but the subject matter should be your own and if you are an experienced candidate you have to follow the format of the second cv which we have um, you know read a um, few minutes back which i have read few minutes back okay the heading should be same but the subject matter should be your own okay Is it clear? Naeem, is it clear what you have to do? I hope everyone is writing that down. Whatever I have been asked, whatever I have asked you to do, are you doing it or not? Are you writing your CV or not? Yeah, Naeem, are you writing it or not? Kelvin, we have see the format for the resume of an experienced candidate would be different 
as compared to the format which is being followed by the fresher. So I have read the CV of an experienced person. When you are making the CV of an experienced person, like if you are an experienced person and if you want to apply for a job for the job somewhere else, okay, then you have to follow this format. Okay, it would be different. Like first of all, you are going to write your name as listed here, then education, then career profile. This is very important. Then career skills. Okay, and last should be your career achievement. So if you are an experienced candidate, you have to follow um, the second CV. Okay, you have to write about your own. You have to write your own CV. Okay, but the heading should be same. Okay, and if you are a fresher, then you can follow the format of the first CV, which we have um, you know read yesterday. Okay. Yeah, if you want, you can give that. No, no issues about it. You didn't answer my question, Naim. Okay, it's okay. No need to say sorry. Just write it down. Is everyone writing that down? Kelvin, Divya, Manoj, Sri Raj, Prabhavati, Pati, Naeem, Samo and Muhammad Ali. I hope you people... Why are you not able to... Are you able to see it now, Samo? Are you able to see the board properly now? Just finish that, please. Okay, okay, Fati. Fine, Fati, good. I'm expecting answers from others as well. Kindly finish it, please. I'm giving you five more minutes. Just try to finish this in five minutes.
very good for you this is what i was expecting Okay, fine, fine. Let's proceed ahead. Now, language focus, useful words. You have to keep in mind that language is very important, and you have to follow the key words, okay, uh, to give it to make it an impressing one, okay, so that you can have long-lasting uh, impact, okay. Your CV should be, you know. Uh, your CV should uh, look see when a, whenever a job is being posted in a job portal or somewhere else, even in a newspaper. Uh, you know, thousands and thousands of people apply for the same, right? So you have to appear different. Okay. So for that, your CV should be impressive, and it can only be impressive if you keep in mind the vocabulary you have to use. Fine. Here are some more words that would help you to describe your. Work better. Remember that these words would be extremely helpful in take, talking specifically. So when you are, uh, you know, designing your CV, just make sure you use the words which makes you sound specific, okay, and appropriate about your work during the interview. Achieved, okay, managed, prepared, implemented, analyzed. Is it clear, everyone, or not? Please respond in the chat box. I am not sure if you are able to follow me or not. Okay, okay. Okay, Mohammed Ali, are you able to follow me? Tamo, Naeem, Padi, Prabhavati, Sri Raj, Divya, Kelvin. Because I cannot see your response in the chat box. Fine. Staffed, maintained, researched, supervised, investigated, programmed, assisted, designed. So, if you are using these words, which whatever is listed here, okay, it makes you appear appropriate, specific. This is very much needed when you are designing a CV. Okay. Okay. Now. Established, presented, optimized, allocated, integrated. Okay. Now, action verbs can help you to describe your participation in work experience. Out of the given choices, identify the suitable action word to complete the given sentence. While at work, I dash new challenges. I enjoy new challenges. Right. So you have to choose the appropriate answer from the options given below. Fine. Is it clear? Please solve this. The first one I had already solved. Now you have to solve the rest of it.
okay we need to solve from 4 to 9 now 4 to 8 okay then i'm going to scroll it down Okay, now do 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. We need to solve 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. Okay. Okay, how about nine and ten? Okay, how about tenth? Now, fine. Study skill. Preparing for an interview. Please pay heed to the board. We give, we give, we have given below some tips to help you to prepare for an interview. You may add some more. A. Go through the copy of your application. So, if you are going for an interview, just make sure before going for an interview. Go through the copy of your application carefully before the interview. The interview panel is likely to ask specific questions about it. Okay? Okay. Now. I, I will I'll take you to the correct answer. Don't worry about that. Okay? I am going to reveal the answers once I am done with this. Okay? Is it clear? Okay. So, before going for an interview, the application which you might have used, or the CV which you have uh, applied, uh, you know, used uh, for applying for the same, just go through that CV. They may ask a specific question from CV. Be ready to provide examples and specifics and to elaborate on information on your resume. So see, you just cannot write a full complete story, you know. You just cannot write a complete story in a, you know, this thing, CV. So if they want, if they want you to, you know, yes, if they want you to, you know, elaborate something which is mentioned in the CV, 
in short just be ready for the same be open be open and honest don't try to fool them they are not fools you know they they had been taking in taking interviews since long so you just cannot fool them so be open and honest because the moment they'll catch you cheating they will uh, discard you at that very moment only so be open and honest okay be precise and just um, you know uh, be precise and confident but don't uh, sound over confident and don't lie to them okay and don't boast about yourself this should not be done if you have filled up a statement of purpose as a per part of the application be ready for some probing questions based on this ask questions since the interview is much as an opportunity for you to learn about the college as for the college to learn about you watch the non verbal cues okay such as uh, eye contact just make sure you are making uh, proper eye contact with each of the you know interviewer if it is a interview panel your posture should be good your gesture should be good okay be courteous to the administrative staff since how you treat them can have an impact positive or negative don't uh, you know like close the door uh, harshly don't sit unless and until they ask you for the same make a rational assessment of yourself before you go for the interview know more know about your strengths and weaknesses and if you have some weaknesses you can tell them that okay i am trying to overcome it and don't uh, you know claim that you don't have any weakness because you know being humans uh, you just cannot rule out the possibility of having a weakness fine do some homework on the company and and try to you know gather information about the company from internet or some other sources okay find out details about the available position in advance this will help you to relate your skills to the position but sometimes they ask you this question why we should choose you so if you know what skills are needed for that particular position you can answer that question well fine review skills and ability questions brainstorm issues give a positive first impression because first impression is the last impression which could include a warm handshake and a pleasant smile show enthusiasm okay but it should not be overconfident and interest your body language can help you do this be as natural as possible don't fake yourself okay is this much clear to everyone any questions anyone out there okay be as natural as possible listen attentively because if you are not a good listener you can never be a good reader i mean listener reading and um, you know like if you are suppose i am speaking something i am asking you a question and you are not paying heed to it you can even if you know the answer you just cannot answer me well okay so this should be there okay just a second please you are asking something name okay brainstorm issues is like brainstorming sessions you don't understand that thing like see brainstorming when they use the word brainstorm that means uh, you have to put uh, pressure on your brain and then only you can reach to the conclusion okay so brainstorming is a group or individual creativity technique by which efforts are made to find a conclusion for a specific problem okay is it clear okay Okay. This we don't have to do. Now, here are some sample of questions asked during the interview. Think about possible answers. Okay. Now, tell me about yourself. They ask you this question. Do you have any hobbies? Don't tell them that you don't have any hobbies. This should not be done. What do you do in your spare time? Okay. How do you think your education has prepared you for this position? we have to answer these questions okay okay so write down the answer for these questions fine we generally ask you this these questions right
I know I'm uh, yes yes I know I'm giving you a lot of questions these days lot of exercises to solve but I don't I want you people to participate actively I don't want it to be a lecture kind of thing that is only reason. Yes, please go ahead and write down the answer. See, you have to write the answers as you are going to say in an interview. Suppose you are facing an interview and these questions are being asked to you. How are you going to respond in that case? Okay, okay. The spelling of photography is wrong, please rectify it.
Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Okay, is everyone done with it? Just finish it till here. Okay. Okay. Are you done with it? I'm going to scroll it down. You have, so see, you have to do it till here. How, uh, now you have to do the remaining questions. You have to do it till here. Far. That's it. Okay? Is it clear, Samu?
Okay. Now let me ask Divya Manoj, how far you have reached? Kelvin, Sri Raj, Padi, Naeem, Mohammed. Okay. Okay, okay. Is everyone done till here? Far? Please let me know. Okay, okay. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, so we are done for today. I would like to wrap it up here. And we are going to continue with the same chapter on Friday. Tomorrow is Thursday, so no classes with me. Okay.
I hope I was able to do justice with the subject. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Bye. And don't forget to fill the feedback form. Okay. Okay, bye. Thank you.